Hello, Taurus viewers. I'm going to be looking into your situation, what your person is thinking, feeling, what they're wanting with you. Uh, the last reading I did, I was getting this energy that you were of you basically letting go of an ex and manifesting your King of Cups. So let's see where we're at now with that whole situation. Let's see what's going on. All right, so for the Tauruses that are drawn to this video, what is the story? What can you tell me? What do they need to know about their love life right now? What do you guys need to know about your love life right now? What's your situation? What's going on with you guys? What is the situation? What's the story? What can you tell me? Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Cups upright, Seven of Swords, and Nine of Pentacles upright. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, and I guess this card just wanted to pop out, Knight of Swords. It just, it was on the top and it just flew out. So we're going to put that right there. Okay, someone here wants to take the easy way out. Somebody is out of patience here, and they kind of just want to run away at this point. The last reading we did, I was getting that you were letting the ex go and kind of seeing what else was out there, and you were manifesting true love. You were manifesting your king or queen of cups, but this energy, it looks like the ex has come back around or is about to come back around. It, it looks like you're entertaining this again, but it, it's, it's like on the other side of fear, you have this other person. There's two different energies here, you know? You have this other person, this Knight of Swords in your energy field that's going to be loyal, who's going to match you, who's going to be more mature, more respectful, um, you know, ready for commitment, ready to settle down, and this other person just isn't. Um, but it's like, this is on the other side of fear. This is just, it, it requires stepping out of your comfort zone. It really does. So let's see. I'm going to look into what's going on with the X for you first. And then I'm going to look into this Knight of Swords and see what I can get on this new person's energy. For some of you, you just met this Knight of Swords because you are manifesting them, I feel. For some of them, you just met them. For others, they're just in your energy field and they're coming in in the near future. But you you got to stop entertaining the ex. Maybe not all of you are. A lot of you are still entertaining the ex, though, from what I'm getting from this reading. Or there's just something you haven't fully let go of. There's still this kind of back and forth energy that you're in that you haven't really released yet. But it's understandable. It's hap it happens. You know, the heart wants what it wants. You know, we're going to love who we're going to love. It's, it's not always that easy to get through that. See, this, this ex or this past energy, whatever this energy is that's still being entertained, it's like this person just wants what they want when they want it. You know what I mean? It's like they want to have their cake and eat it too. It's this passionate, fiery energy. It could be a fire sign even. Um, there's you know a lot of wands here. It could be a fire sign or just fire sign energy. It's like they're passionate and they're bold and they're brave and they're um, creative and artistic. And there's all these things that draw you in. But the problem with this specific person is that they, there's also the negative side of that, is that they need, they need a lot of stimulus. They need things to, to keep them entertained, you know? They just... They're not good at the long term. They just kind of want what they want in that moment. They're always just going for what they want in that moment. But it's like they're, they, they almost have like a bipolar kind of energy. You know what I mean? Like they have very intense mood swings or intense emotions. So it's like one day they're treating you like a king or queen and you feel like, you know, this person really loves me. This person is here for me. But then a week later, they're, you know, missing an action. It's, it's like they're ghosting you. They're not talking as much. It's, it's very hot and cold, back and forth energy. Um, 
I'm going to try to get a channeled song for you guys, too. I'll post it in the comments below. So with this Knight of Wands, it's like there, it, this person is passionate. This person is emotional. And this is what draws you in to this person. You know, the fact that they have this passion. But there's just, with them, it's not like a stable, consistent passion. You know what I mean? It's, it's very... Um, volatile it's very it's very um it, it shifts so much you know it's like they love you one day and then the next day they just don't they they just go with whatever they they're selfish they're a very selfish person they go with whatever they feel or want in the moment and you're trying to change this person and i hate to say it but it's not going to work you're not going to be able to change them you might have good weeks and you're, you're holding on to those good days or those good weeks. You know, like you're like, this person told me they loved me a month ago or a week ago. And it's like, that's beautiful. But what are they doing right now in the present moment? Are they ghosting you? Are they leaving you unread? You know, you have to really be honest with yourself about what this person is doing. Um, I do feel like you were starting to let go of them the last reading we did. But now this energy is come. It's either coming back around or it's already come back around and you're kind of getting stuck in this situation again with the ex hmm with the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands this is like a new beginning and you want it to be like grounded and stable and you want it to be passionate too passionate romantic but also grounded and stable you know the best of both worlds you're trying to have this this stable but yet passionate and loving new beginning with this person but, you know, like I said, this person has this very bipolar energy and they're very selfish. So they might love you and say all the right things one day, but then it's, it's, they're, it's always going to be back and forth with them, you know, unless, unless of course they're, they really are bipolar and I can't, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose anyone. You know, I'm not, you know, like I, full disclaimer, <laughs> My reading should never be substituted for any type of professional or medical advice. But if this person is bipolar and they get help, I guess maybe there's some hope there. Um, but it seems like it's if, if they do have that disorder, it's it seems like it would probably be undiagnosed is what I'm getting. Or it could just be bipolar energy. I don't know for sure that they're bipolar. And I can't, I can't claim that. I can't make any claims to that. I'm just saying it's, that's, it's very similar energy to bipolar disorder. Um... But it's like you're trying to make something happen with this person that's honestly not going to happen. It's, it's like you're kind of just, I hate to be so blunt, you know, because I know how much that hurts. But it's kind of like you're honestly just living in fantasy land with this person right now. You're, you're trying to force this new start, this new love. You're trying to find a way because you know how this person is. And so you're trying to find a way to have this passionate, romantic, interesting new start that's also grounded in the physical world and also stable um and it's almost like you're just out of patience waiting for this person you know the eight of pentacles reversed it's you know that's that's speaking of a lack of patience it's could also be hoping for luck and chance instead of you know perseverance and patience and hard work it's like this person is just isn't how do i explain it it's like you've been patient and i think you're so tired of being patient that you're almost like in denial you're kind of like you know what no i've gone through enough this is my person now we're going to be together you're like you're kind of ignoring all the red flags right now it seems like with this person and you're like you know they told me they loved me a couple weeks ago or a week ago or however long ago so screw any data that contradicts that you know i think it's also talking about your person's lack of patience and your person's lack of commitment like they're not you might be willing to do this hard work for the relationship, but they're not willing to do this hard work for the relationship. They want something that's fun. They want something that's, they're a very selfish person. So they want, you know, whatever feels good to them in that moment. If you feel good to them, they'll put you on top of the world. But when you don't feel good to them, you're, it's like you're invisible to them. You know, it's horrible. And so it's kind of talking about their lack of commitment, their lack of patience. Like they're not, you might want this new start and you might be thinking about all the ways you could have this new start, but they're, they're not going to be putting the patience and effort into having this new start. You know, they're, it's like, there's like this romantic fantasy of kind of running away together and starting over, 
but there's also the negative aspect of the eight of cups i, I kind of see especially in this reading i see the seven of swords as like the negative aspect of the eight of cups so the eight of cups would be running away together starting a new life you know kind of leaving the world behind and it's a very romantic beautiful ideal but in this particular reading i don't see it as a good thing because this right here is telling me that yeah that you might have that part of the time but then you also have this negative aspect where yeah maybe they will run away with you really quickly maybe they will you know in that moment when they're feeling that energy maybe they'll run away and want to start over with you and have this you know this this kind of romance but then a week later when things aren't when there's an argument or when you know they notice somebody else or whatever it's the very selfish energy i get from this person um you know whatever comes up it's it's like the negative aspect of the eight of cups would be like the seven of swords this is dishonesty this is escaping this is running away from problems running away from conflict so you know the person this person only wants you when it feels good to them and it depends a lot on their mood and so you're kind of always being having to be victim to their mood swings and be victim to their damage and their toxic energy and constantly having to be victim it's always about what they feel it's never about what you feel in this situation it's always just about what they feel you know do they feel like being affectionate today do they feel like loving you today or do they feel are they just going to ignore you today it's a roller coaster ride you don't want to keep doing this to yourself it's ultimately your choice but it's it's not the roller coaster is going to continue on most likely for years and years it's not going to stop you know it's going to keep being a roller coaster it's up to you you want to keep riding that roller coaster and wasting time with this little boy or little girl or do you want your knight of swords do you want somebody who's actually going to love you and match you and not treat you like crap you know that's what you have to decide sorry it's such a harsh reading i usually i try to get most of my readings are a little bit more positive but this one's kind of a harsh energy i'm sorry but yeah it's like you know you might it's like you're trying to be sweet and charming and run away with this person and it's like yeah even if they run away with you even if they in that moment they they're feeling you're in there they're resonating with your love with your energy they're having a good day you know you're on the hives of the roller coaster so you're 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 going with this eight of cups energy they're running away with you it's all romantic and then when that roller coaster comes crashing back down it's seven of swords it's them running away from the connection it's them it's their commitment issues it's them being dishonest it's them wanting their cake and eating it too it's them looking at other women or looking at other men it's it's um you know, it's kind of just a reminder. It's like, yes, it seems so romantic and beautiful, but you have to realize the Seven of Swords energy is there too. There's the negative aspect of that Eight of Cups, and it's not going to go away. It's going to continue on. If you end this roller coaster, if you get off this roller coaster, you you can have your harvest. You can have this this good heart. This it's it's like this reward after working so hard for something. It's like reaching that completion it's it's like you can get back into your power get back into your own energy and stop giving so much of your energy away to this person and you can be with your knight of swords you can be with somebody who's strong who's brave who's courageous who's loyal this person this, this ex is not loyal to you they're too selfish to be loyal to anybody i can guarantee you if you guys got in a relationship this person would most likely be looking elsewhere too because like I said, they just want whatever they want in their moment in the, in the moment and that's all they see. They don't see anything outside of that. It's just whatever is going to make them happy in that moment. And so I think for the majority of them, yes, they would cheat. This ex would cheat. This is a second energy here. And this is what happens if you let go of this person. You get off that merry-go-round and you stop being abused and you reclaim your power and you cut this person out and you let them you stop letting them manipulate you. You know, you have a big heart. I think you're a romantic. And so you have to protect your heart from them. It's not, they're not going to change. And you're going to waste months or years of your life on this person. And you're going to look back and you're going to wish so bad that you didn't give them all this energy. You're going to wish so bad that you could take it all back and that you could reclaim that part of your life because you're going to waste so much energy and time on them when you could just be with your, your actual person, your actual soulmate or twin flame you know this is a karmic most likely or a soulmate at most but it's it's not it's not a good energy and it's not it's not changing it's really not changing 
I, I don't see, I mean, from this energy that I'm getting, I get a very selfish person, you know, and you'll know if this is your story, if this is resonating. But, you know, like I said, there's this other energy here. There's this other man or other woman here. And if you get off the roller coaster, you know, you do have success coming. You do have reward for all the hard work you done, you've done. You do have this knight of swords that would be loyal to you, that would, you know, make this vow to you to put you first, this person that would be crazy about you. You know, you have this other energy that's like a million times more positive. Let's look into this knight of swords here. I'm going to put him right here so we can look into him. I want to see what this energy is. So for some, it's somebody you just met. And for others, it's just somebody that's in your energy field. And it's like maybe they can't come in because you're still entertaining the ex. Your guides might not want to bring them in right now because they don't. It's like if you're entertaining the ex, they don't want to bring this person in and have you break this person's heart. Because if this is your actual person, like your soulmate, your, your twin flame, your true love or whatever, they don't want to bring this person in and have you reject them for the ex. Or have, the, have this person see you with another person and decide, oh, I better not, you know, pursue this person because she's already, he or she is already taken by somebody. You know, they want to make sure that path is clear before they bring this person in. Or if you have just met them, it's like they're kind of still hesitant about how far to bring this person in because it's like you haven't made that decision yet to fully let go of the ex. So um, you have some soul searching and some important choices to be making here. Okay, so Knight of Swords, tell me about this energy. Tell me what do, what do the viewers should what should the viewers know about? this um knight of swords energy what can you tell me about this person this connection what's the story with this hmm that's good seven of pen Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords reversed, Six of Pentacles, the Sun, King of Swords. I actually think it's probably this way. I think I, I think you're, this is me moving past the King of Swords, which is the X. Knight of Pentacles and the Star. I think this person, well, it's, it's still, it, there's a lot of emphasis here on just letting go of the ex so that this new person can come in. You know, there's, there, you still have to clear that energy out. You have to really be willing to let go of this ex um, for this person to come in. I think just simply because I feel like this person is right for you. And so they, your guides want to make sure that this person doesn't see you with the ex, you know, or they want to make sure that this person doesn't come in and you don't go back to the ex and break their heart and then have this person not trust you. You know what I mean? Like, they want to make sure you guys do this right because I think this is, you know, this new person could possibly be your person. They're a soulmate or a twin flame, and so they're really being cautious because they know it's such chaotic, unstable energy with the ex, and they want to make sure this that your connection with the ex doesn't sabotage something that's real and solid you know um because this this other energy this knight of swords you know he's also the knight of pentacles i think that he's stable and loyal but i also think that he's wise and he's got a lot of life experience so if he gets his heart broken he's not going to be quick to go back to that he's not going to if this person were to come in and you were to choose the ex over over him or her, or they were to see the ex posting on your Facebook or you posting about them on, on Facebook or Instagram or social media or whatever, you know, this person is, is wise and logical, so they probably wouldn't pursue you if they saw that. Or if you guys did get together and then they realized you were still entertaining the ex, they probably wouldn't trust you because this person is very loyal and very stable and grounded. They have a lot of earth energy. Could be an earth sign or just somebody with a lot of earth energy. Um, 
like they know what they deserve they know what they want out of life and out of a relationship this is somebody who'd be likely to want a long-term relationship they want to finally get it right with somebody they're tired of getting it wrong so you know if they see you with the ex it's like they're just gonna in in their head it would like you would just be like everybody else to them and they and your guys want to make sure that when you meet this person or if you've just met this person they really want to do it right and make sure that they can resonate with your energy and feel your energy and see on all levels that you're not like everybody else um with the seven of pentacles here i think it's kind of saying it's like this is this is hard work patience bleeding for something and i think with this person it's like kind of talking about about the ex it's like there's no tears left to cry with the ex it's the three of swords reversed it's like there's no more heartbreak you know what i mean it's like you're just numb to it you've been going through it for so long on and off it's been so hot and cold with the ex that it's like you just you can't even feel it anymore it's like you're just numb to it you know and it's it's putting that hard work and patience into somebody who's going to match your energy somebody who's going to give you that love back you know and we have you moving past this x and getting into this energy this six of pentacles energy which is like harmony and wealth and abundance and just this more of a stable energy and you know you can't have that energy with your ex you can't have that stability and clarity and that six of pentacles energy that you're seeking you can't have that with your ex so i think it's kind of saying you know with the sun here it's like you're letting go of the king of swords you're letting go of this person who had this harsh sort of energy i'm just looking at this energy it's interesting and you know you have your knight of pentacles here you have this knight that's stable that's grounded that's loyal that wants long term that's able to commit long term it's not just a hot and cold passionate relationship it's it's something um somebody who's going to stick you know be by your side through the good and the bad and they're manifesting you and you're manifesting them it's like you guys are both hoping for this kind of love you're both trying to plant these seeds but again it's your the energy is not going to clear until the ex is fully out of the picture so what else can we get on this knight of swords just really quick four of cups queen of pentacles justice two of swords here i'm gonna what was that star okay i'm gonna put these up actually it might be easier It's like you've just been bored and alone and stagnant with this old connection. But, you know, you have the key here to get out of this, to get back into your Queen of Pentacles energy, to be grounded and stable and to really give that energy to yourself and also to the right person, to somebody who's going to match that energy, you know, with the Justice and Two of Swords and King of Cups here with this new relationship. It's this new person coming in. It's saying it's like you have to make a judgment call. You have to start being honest with yourself when it comes to the red flags and also the green flags you need to be honest with yourself and see are you holding on to a dead situation like you you see you see this man here is dead and she's she's got to make a, this two of swords she has to make a harsh important life decision do you want to hold on to this this connection this relationship that's pretty much just dead and over or do you want something new do you want you know do you want new love with with justice here it's like you have to be honest with yourself about the ex you have to really dig deep and be honest with yourself and decide if it's still worth it you know decide what you really want out of love decide if this is still like do you want to let go of this or not and if you're if you're willing to let go of this dead situation this ex this person who hurt you and betrayed you and was just hot and cold and ghosted you and whatever if you're willing to let go of that and look forward to your future then you have justice you have all the love that you gave this person and other people in your past being returned to you in the form of somebody new you know you have a king of cups you have this person that's emotionally available that's open that's 
you know, looking for long-term commitment, that's looking for somebody like you, that's looking for that stability and a connection, you know, somebody that's going to actually match your energy. You have that potential there with somebody. But again, your guides are wanting to bring this in. They've been, they've been matching your energy a lot too. I feel like they've been trying to manifest you. I think they're tired of getting it wrong. I think that they've been with abusive and emotionally unavailable people. And they're tired of having their energy not be matched. They're tired of, you know, not just having their life partner that they want. And they've been in this star energy where they're trying to manifest you, where they're hoping for you, they're praying for you, they're doing whatever they do to manifest you. And you're trying to manifest them at the same time. You're kind of matching each other's energy. You're both hoping for each other. You're both wanting each other. And you're psychically, telepathically picking up on this person. You guys are connecting even if you haven't met in the physical world yet i do feel like you guys are connecting through dreams or just through telepathic communication trances psychic channels that kind of thing um for some of you, you may have just met this person not long ago for others it's just this person's like in your energy field like they're around you'll be meeting them soon but you haven't actually met them in the physical world yet but again it kind of depends on where you're at with your ex because your guides really want this divine connection this divine union you know the queen of pentacles with the king of cups they want this connection they want this this divine union but it's too important for them to risk you know it's it's too important for them to just bring this person in because you're lonely now and then have the the ex have you go back to the ex because it's familiar and then you sabotage it this connection with your true love you know or you're just not ready for this commitment, or you're just, you know, still not over the damage the ex caused, or you just, you know, whatever, whatever the situation may be, they want to make sure that you guys do this right, they want to make sure that you're taking things at the right speed, and that you're building trust in each other, because like I said, this king of cups, you know, this is a very stable, wise man, this is somebody with a lot of life experience, this is somebody who's empathetic, and open hearted, and loving, but they're also very strong and very assertive. And so if you betray them, if you go back to the ex or they see you with, you know, messing around with the ex or whatever, they're probably not going to give you a chance. They don't give a lot of second chances out. So because they've been hurt too much, so they they have to they're they're determined to find their queen. They're determined to find their person. And so if they get betrayed by somebody, they're just going to be like, okay, they're going to group them into this category and be like, okay, well, this person is just like everybody else I've dated. I don't want that. I want somebody who's going to be loyal, who's going to match my loyalty, match my energy, match my love. And so you really have to be careful to make sure that when this person comes in, you do it right with them. Do not let this go for the ex. You will regret that for the rest of your life. Trust me. So... <laughs> intense energy i know but that's where you guys are at that's what i'm getting so let me know um what you guys think let me know if, if this is your story let me know what's up um and you know share like subscribe i do these readings pretty regularly so thank you for watching